How do you feel about having received the BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the Economics, Finance, and Management category? Oh, it's uh, very exciting to, um, to receive this award. It's been, a, you know, all, overall a great year for me, to, and this is sort of the capstone of it. I've had, um, uh, I've had patents issued this year. I've had my ideas being applied in, in auctions around the world, and then to get this re uh, award on top of that is just, it's just a magnificent year for me. I'm really excited by it. You were formed as a mathematician. What led you to the field of academic economics and after that to create your own business? Oh, well, it's true. I was a, a mathematician as an undergraduate and um, uh, sometime after that I read some papers by William Vickery, who was the founder of auction theory and economics, and by Robert Wilson, who became my uh, PhD advisor. And I was just amazed that you could use mathematics to study human behavior and bidding that way, and, and I found that really exciting. And then um, that's for the academic part. And then in, in 1993, when the U.S. government um, decided that they were going to run spectrum auctions uh, and came out with a proposal and I saw what they were proposing, I realized I could do something that I thought was better. And so uh, Wilson and I made a proposal and we, uh, our proposal was adopted and copied all around the world for running radio spectrum auctions. And you know, I started getting calls and I decided, well, I would do some consulting. So I formed a little company to organize my consulting both to auctioneers and to bidders. You have carried your academic research on auctions to the practice advising both governments and companies to design auctions and to participate in them. What factors are taken into consideration to design an auction and when do you consider that the design has worked out? Well, uh, I think when your listeners are, are looking at this, they'll probably, when they think of an auction, they'll think of eBay or Sotheby's and Christie's, somewhere where, where um, a single item is for sale and the auctions are fairly simple. Those aren't the kind of auctions I work on. Uh, the auctions I work on usually have some complicating factor that, um, uh, that makes the design challenging. So for example, right now we're talking about uh, having an auction in which radio spectrum that's currently used for broadcast television in the United States would be used for mobile instead. And doing that involves satisfying literally hundreds of thousands of engineering constraints that uh, uh, prevent interference between one use and another in different re bands in different regions of the country. So uh, to, be, uh, to be a good auction design, first of all, it has to deal with the real problem, the real constraints that are actually there. Second, it has to be as simple as possible for bidders subject to those constraints. And then it has to perform well for the auctioneer, what, whatever the auctioneer's objective are, which might be generating revenue, or promoting an efficient telephone industry for, um, uh, for service to customers, which is a, a big uh, part of the objective in the United States. So uh, again, it has to be meet the real constraints. It has to um, uh, be simple enough for bidders to be attracted to participate in and meet the auctioneer's objectives, or whatever those might be.